y'all. We have got some strawberries kicking. These things are just crazy. Lousy with strawberries they are. Strawberries everywhere. Still ain't figured out. Look at this thing. I think it's going to seed already. Which is fine because it'll replace some seeds. I think this is the basil. I ain't going to swear to it. But I think. Oh shit. I don't want to rip it up. It's parsley. It's got to be parsley because it does not have a basil flavor at all. You growing a uh, loofah in here? Ooh, that's spicy. I don't know. I didn't put it in there. Oh, I didn't put it in there. Lovely little, is it, what kind of tree is that? Didn't you buy it? Yeah, and it only said citrus. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. These are lemon trees. <laughs> huh? It's got a fruit. I don't know. All right. Looky there. Yeah, it's definitely a cutting. That's fine with me. Well, you can see a graft. All right. It's definitely got a graft. But the thing is, is there's another one there. That's awesome. We're going to have so much fruit in the next couple of years. It's going to be insane. So looking forward to that. Yep, yep, yep. Got some beans kicking there. This in here once in the garden. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hey, you got a lighter? No. Will you give me mine from up there? Right up there. There is some cuteness happening. Ooh, she got that. Oh, she got it. She killed it. You got it? You better eat that thing. She got it. Okay, that's all you're allowed to murder today. Good girl. You gonna eat it? You gonna eat it? You not gonna eat it, are you? No, just murder it. That's all. Just gonna murder it. <clears throat> Good job, monkey. Hers killed the wizard. Hers slayed the dragon. Mm-hmm. Here, girls. Monkey got you a treat. Oh, here we go. Circle of life. Hey, Red, does you want this, Red? You want it? Oh, them girls are going to jump up there and take my finger off with it. <laughs> yep, you go, girl. She said, y'all ain't getting this thing. It's mine. <coughs> oh, them boys. Red, leave him alone. The girls don't like it when you do that. They don't like it. That's why they get in front of you. Hi, baby. Hi, Opal. Hey, Pearl. Opal always looks a little bit disheveled. Pearl usually looks pristine. Hey, Pearl. Hi, baby. Poor Maud seems to be the favorite of the boys. Which sucks, but Midgey would be the next. Them's good babies. They got all the grass and cuttings and stuff that I took from over there on the other side. I think we're going to plant a little garden over there. So, it's always nice to get free food for the chickens. Aw, oh, BP, you're such a gorgeous boy. You sure are. Red's such a bully. There he goes. God, he's a jerk. He's a wonderful rooster, though, and neither of them has ever been aggressive with me, even slightly. So, there we are. Girls are tearing up them veggies. Broody hen. 
has been very settled and happy in the broody hut. And I try to keep a close ear out, so if I hear coming flying out of there, it's not actually locked. I just have the thing sitting there, but I'm going to uh, keep a close ear out on her today, because today is the day she should be coming out. It's usually the third day, so she has food and water in there, so she's been very happy with that, having her own food and water in there. I'm going to make a uh, larger water container out of one of these and put the little nipples in it and stuff. So yeah, I'm probably going to use one of the smaller ones. I don't know. Well, yeah, I probably will use a smaller one. But everybody's happy, happy, happy. MVP, you're such a handsome guy. I do love you so much, you sweet, sweet boy. I do, I love you. You are a gorgeous, gorgeous rooster. I know you're not happy right now, but you're about to get your own little spot with your own girls. Because we're going to be breeding, and you're going to be the prime, prime boy in that program. Yes, you are. He is just a wonderful rooster, a wonderful boy. And he is going to be the daddy of a little half-breed flock that we're raising. Whatever's in there with Broody Hen now is just going to be what it is. But Red is also a spectacular rooster, and I'm going to breed him as well. Oh, I got some stuff I got to fix over there. Wow. All right. Hold on, y'all. All right, we're going to come back in the garden here. Got some corns popping up. Super happy with that because these are the corns that I bought. Those are big kerneled white sweet corn. Best corn on the planet by far. Got our sunflowers kicking. They are just scattered amongst everywhere. Got these bean plants. I need to fertilize all this again because this sand just flows it right through. So yeah, we got to get some fertilizer in here. The radishes did great. I'm going to have to buy a bulk pack of radish seeds because I really like having radishes all the time. These little stupid things I can't stand. Chickens love them though. It's the only reason I haven't eradicated them from everything here. Look at these tomatoes, y'all. Those things are super happy, super happy being in there. Let's shut that down for a minute. We're going to get this guy. Probably going to tie it right here. I'm going to take off this little sucker. Like that. Take off that sucker. And we're going to take off that. So that one ripped. Oops. Got to get the knife and get that grass cut back again. That stuff grows so fast. Yeah, we're going to take the suckers off these and I'm going to run them across the, the uh, fence line here. And, uh, yeah. We're about to put some more stuff in here, but there are lots of things popping up because I plant stuff crazy. We're going to stick these in some water and root them. Which will give us more and more tomato plants. Yeah, all right, there's a sucker. Yeah, the sucker's popping out. There we go. Man, we're going to have so many tomatoes. I'm so happy. So happy about that. She loves that grass. I know her does. Her loves that grass. Yep, the little papaya is just gonna hopefully get growing up there and throw a little shade for the hottest parts of the year. Oh, she's out now. I can close it. Okay, I'm gonna let her go in there and kill something every now and then. Yeah, we're gonna get these papayas planted. 
Um, oh shit, look over here. Ooh, damn squirrels. Look at the freaking little monsters. Ugh, squirrels can just aggravate the crap out of you. This needs water. Yes, it does. Oh, there's one of them evil weeds. This must go. Yep. I'm just gonna give these leaves to the girls. Here you go, babies. There's you some tomato leaves and an evil weed. Yeah, everything's growing really well. <coughs> pop this off, pop this off. I'll take off a couple more off of this one. Oh, don't kill the corn. Don't kill the corn. I planted that one. Let's see here. Let's get this off of it so it can have a better shot at growing. Take that. There's another evil weed. I don't know what these things are, but my god, they're spiny and awful. Oh, that's a big fat root. Yeah, I don't like those at all. Oh, goodness. Got a whole bunch of aphids. Gonna come in today and spray them off again, and the chickens will just munch them up as soon as they hit the ground. But gosh, y'all, look at those grapes. Oh my goodness, so stoked, and look at that gorgeous little ladybug right there, look at that, yep, those ladybugs love those aphids, these things are gonna be banging with grapes, oh, I'm so happy, so, so happy, try not to step on my pineapples here, y'all see those bunches, this is gonna be so, just, Bursting with grapes, looky there. Another ladybug. Gotta love that. They are munching, munching, munching on those aphids. So awesome. Gotta get some food in here. Got little corns popping up everywhere. Yeah. There's all kinds of volunteers popping up too. I'm hoping these are cucumbers. Pretty sure they are. Tendrils are already hanging on to that. We want to get these out here. So the little tendrils can hang on there. There we go. Now you can climb up that way. There we go. You can climb up that way too. Yeah, you can climb up there. Super stoked about all that. Oh, there's another evil weed. Let's get this and get this off of that tomato. Get that tomato hanging out over here, up off the ground. There we go. Let's get this pokey bastard. Oh, I don't like those things. on our pathetic lime tree here that used to be so stunningly beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. Most everything here is looking great. Y'all, these are three weeks old. I am not joking. That is a three-week-old loofah. Three weeks old. Three weeks ago, this vine was not even over here. <laughs> it's crazy how much this has produced. I mean, it's still producing from last year. I mean, it died back a little bit, but it definitely did not die. And just started cruising out of the ground again. Look at this. Look how big that is. That's insane. These loofahs are so prolific. I have a bunch of seeds from this actual plant and the other ones that were over there. And uh, I've got them packaged up. I think I'm going to put them up for sale. But these are just 
amazingly, <laughs> amazingly high producers. It's crazy how many lufus this thing can make. And I didn't get it going until late last year. It just kind of started going on its own. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Man, oh man. Oh, I was headed this way to show you all the strawberries popping out of this thing. Look at this. They love this too. They really do. I've got to make a couple more because I've got about 50 plants on the way here. Oh gosh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect little strawberry there. Mm. Oh my god, those are good. Oh wow. I think these are seascapes. Mm. I think that's what these are, seascapes. They're mixed in. There's... My gosh, we've got so many strawberries. Just producing all the time. Got some corns popping up out of the little mango pot. Got some big fat sunflowers kicking. Look at that already. Popping out the flowers, man. Having all this stuff growing. I surely do. Hey, Maud. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Got to be careful walking around for if there's just plants planted in odd places, either volunteers or however they got planted there. <laughs> yeah, it's time for them to go in the ground. I'm going to put. I'm going to put a couple of these over here. Um, yeah. Definitely going to put one on that side. Just the other side of the... Uh, right about there. So it will help provide a little bit of shade. Because this part of the yard gets disgustingly hot. We've got some... Uh, I'm not sure what those are. I hope they're melons. But I'm going to go around and plant some melon seeds today. i got to mow the yard after I get some more weeds pulled for the chickens. And, uh, stuff. So i got to get some mowing done and make it a little easier to get around and see what i got growing. And these, these weeds here... When your ground gets real dry and compacted and stuff, and it's not flowing the water through it the way it should, these will pop up, and these will make big, long roots that help draw the water up to the top. So when y'all see a weed, man, keep in mind that it's telling you what your yard needs and, and what's going on beneath the soil. And when you start understanding when you see certain weeds that that's what's going on underneath no matter what you think you've gotten it to do it's it's going to let you know by the types of weeds that are coming up oh look at that tree i love flowers man especially natural ones these things are about to be just popping pollinators just love these things these are a type of mint um i can't remember the name of the plant right now but it's just a little wild mint plant. All these beautiful little flowers and everything. The pollinators just love them. And you'll never have any problem with your veggies getting pollinated if you take care of the pollinators. And we do that. And by doing that, we're also taking care of the chickens because this gives us free chicken food. You can see those pretty little flowers, those pretty little pink flowers, turn into those little puff balls. And these are actually edible for us and chickens and whatever wants to eat them. But everything's doing really well for the most part. I'm super happy about that. And hopefully we'll have melons and cucumbers and all kinds of stuff. Look at that fat lot of strawberries there. Goodness. Oh, this is going to be so good.
There's another fat wad. I got these berry bushes off of Amazon. Um, I'll try to find the link and post it in the... <clears throat> this company has been stunningly awesome. And uh, they do charge a shipping fee of like $7.99, but they knock it off for any others, any other plants that you put in the cart. They do only charge you one shipping fee, which I find to be much better. And they are a great company. So like I said, I'll try to get the link and put it in the description. But I've got a whole bunch of stuff i got to do today. Look at that giant sunflower sticking up next to the fire pit. Big old fat. Yeah. All right, y'all. Much love, everybody. Grow what you love. And you will love what grows. <laughs>